Hello everyone, I'm Dave Bowen and along with Andrew Pinder I lead one of the uh, kids teams for years one to three um, and our team includes Ellie Lane and um, Shelley Greathead. Um, today I'd like to read to you the garden, the curtain and the cross which I have to say is one of my favourite stories. I really love this one and I hope you do too. And it starts with, a very long time ago, right here in this world, there was a garden. In the garden, everything was wonderful. The world was full of laughing and playing and smiling and fun. There was nothing bad, ever. And there was no one sad, ever. And best of all, God was there. He had made it all. He was in charge of all, charge of it all, and he loved it all people could see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God. It was wonderful to live with God. But then, one day, the people did a terrible thing. They decided they didn't want to do what God said. They decided they wanted a world without God in charge. God calls this sin. Sin spoils things. So sin has no place in God's wonderful garden. God said to the people, you can't live with me in my garden anymore. And he sent them outside. To show the people they had to stay outside, God put some warrior angels in front of the garden. The angels are like a big keep out sign. Now things were sometimes bad and people were sometimes sad but people just kept on sinning because they didn't want God to be in charge. So no one could come into God's wonderful place. God said because of your sin you can't come in. God wanted people to remember that it is wonderful to live with him but because of your sin you can't come in. So, he told the people to build a special building called his temple, where he would live in the middle of the temple. In, in, in the middle of the temple, there was the most wonderful place in the world, the place where God was, and nothing bad, and nothing sad. It was very exciting. But then God told the people to put a big curtain around his wonderful place. The curtain had pictures of warrior angels on it. It was a big keep out sign. For hundreds of years, the temple curtain reminded people that God said it is wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. Babies became grown-ups and had babies, and those babies became grown-ups and had babies, and those babies became grown-ups and had babies. Hundreds of summers and hundreds of winters passed, uh, uh, by, b passed by, and the keep out curtain stayed in the temple. Then, one day, God's son came to live in this world as a person. He was called Jesus. Jesus always did what God said, and Jesus never sinned. And Jesus visited the temple with the big keep out curtain. Jesus knew that things were sometimes bad and sometimes sad. And Jesus said God had sent him to open the way back to God's wonderful place, where there would be nothing bad and no one sad. But people still didn't want to let God be in charge. So they decided to put Jesus on a cross to die. It was the most bad thing that had ever happened. It was the most sad day of all time. But Jesus had a plan. He had always planned to die on the cross. What a strange plan. Why would God's son plan to die? On the cross, Jesus took all our sin, all the bad things we do, all the sad things they cause. Jesus took them all from us. And when he did, 
something amazing, astonishing, astounding happened. The curtain tore. God had ripped up the keep out sign. God's wonderful place was open again. Because Jesus died, we can go in. After Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb and they were very sad. For two days, nothing happened. Then, the next morning, Jesus' friends went to see his body in the tomb and it wasn't there. A little later on, Jesus' friends were all together and suddenly Jesus was there, alive. Suddenly his friends weren't sad. Now they were so, so happy. God had brought Jesus back to life so that he could live in God's wonderful place forever. And Jesus had sent everyone an invitation to come and live with him there too. He tells us God says it is wonderful to live with him. Because of your sin, you can't come in. But because I died on the cross to take your sin, so all my friends can now come in. We can live with God there forever and there will be nothing bad and no one sad and we will see God and we will speak to God and just enjoy being with God just as he planned. It will be wonderful to live with him and it's all because of Jesus. We can say every day, thank you Jesus, you're amazing. You can start saying that today. Thank you, Jesus.